Hello, today we are going to discuss about Volti architecture. As Volti is voice over LT, so today we are going to discuss about architecture. That means how the entities are organized with one another to have a complete architecture of voice over LT system. Now, the total entities in an architecture that it contains, the very first that we require as Volti UE which is voice over LT user equipment. So the very first equipment in the architecture is voice over LT user equipment. Then we require a RAN part, RAN as radio access network. So second is RAN, which is radio access network. Then we have core network, and the core network as EPC. Now this EPC is evolved packet core evolved packet core and we have IMS we require IMS core network. Now this IMS has IP multimedia subsystem so this is IMS network core network so these are the entities that we require in complete voice over LT network architecture very first you need then we require radio access network then we have packet core and the IMS core network because IMS core network is dedicatedly there for voice over LT processes. Now let's start with the very first entity in the architecture and the entity as voice over LT user equipment. Voice over LT user equipment. Now this UE, it contains the functionality to access the LT radio access network. So for example, I have a user equipment and this user equipment is voice over LT enabled. Now it requires functionalities so that it can access 4G or LT radio access network. So in this user equipment, there is a requirement of some such functionalities through which this user equipment can access the radio access network. And also, it can access the further part, that means the EPC, which is Evolved Packet Code. So, now how could it access the Evolved Packet Code and the radio access network? Because it allows mobile broadband connectivity this mobile broadband connectivity we have when this UE which is Volte enabled can attach to the RAN and the EPC part now we require like here in this Volte user equipment there is requirement of embedded IMS stack so we require that Embedded IMS stack should be there and we require Volte application. So embedded IMS stack and then we require Volte applications. Now with the help of these two entities, this can access the network. So these are like what are the changes there in the user equipment which are which is there for voice over LT systems. Now a second entity is RAN. RAN is a radio access network. So RAN which is radio access network. Now it requires radio capability it should be there. It requires 
required that here in this or a RAM part there should be radio capabilities. Now radio capabilities like if it is FDD only frequency division duplex or it is TDD only. Now TDD has time division duplex either FDD only or TDD only in radio capabilities it should be defined or we can use the both. TDD and FDD or we have a and this is both like applicable for for both. That means what duplex technique that we are using we require to define the radio capabilities of the radio access network of a system. Now if we have a core network so in a core network we have evolved packet core this is evolved packet core which is core network of the 4G architecture. Now next we have IMS IMS core network, IP multimedia system or IP multimedia system core network. So we require that this network should provide service layer like we have a services multimedia and telephony. So this network should provide services of multimedia telephony services etc. So these are the basic four entities in the Volte architecture that these basic four entities we require in a network. Now and this is a description like each and every what is the working of each and every unit which is there for architecture. Now as per the architecture of this now how things are organized or entities are organized like this is evolved UTRAN as evolved universal terrestrial radio access network now we have here as UE which is user equipment now this user equipment is attached like here in UTRAN part we have e -node B. so this is e -node B. Now we have a connectivity like this is a connection. So here we have the connectivity between the UE and the e -node B. Now next we require as core network. So in a LT EPC which is evolved packet core. Now what are the entities with where we have in it? Like first one is MME. Now, E node B's are attached to MME. This link is S1C link. And next we have serving gateway. Now, E node B is also attached to the serving gateway. S1U interface as we had discussed in the 4G. Now, this MME and SGW are connected to one another with S11. As per this interface, this is S1U and as per the red interface, this is S1C and this interface is UU interface. Now, in after that we have HSS, we have HSS attached, we have authentication, this HSS is attached to authentication server as AAA server. So this is a server. Now as per the entities here in this part, we require PGW as PDN gateway. This is attached to PCRF. Policy control rule function, it is attached. Now this PGW and PCRF is attached to a new network architecture and that is we require for Volte that is IMS network system. So and also 
this is connected to another network and the network as internet. So this PDA gateway is connected to internet. Now we require that this should be connected to IMS network because both will provide like these services are my IP services. These are IP services. So as for the interface, so we define as SGI interface between them. And here we have the PLC interface with policy control rule function and RX. Now next we have S5 and here we have S7 interface defined. Now these are the interfaces like how the things are connected to one another. So this is like connectivity of evolved packet code to the IMS system as the IP multimedia system. So here we have IMS system. So this is about description like how the entities are organized for world in a four network. Where are the connections? Like till here we have in a 4G. Now for voice over LTE we have attached to the IMS system. Now in next class we will study in detail that what is there in the IMS system and what are the entities in IMS. This is all for today class. Thank you so much.